Okay, good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Band of Amusement with the Twist Orlando. We were um, doing stuffed balloons the other day. Uh, someone asked me, how do you get the 160s to blow up properly inside a stuffed balloon? 11 inch, 12 inch, 9 inch, whatever size you want. The object is you got to blow up the balloon outside before you can blow up the balloons inside. And you're like, well, how does that work uh, since you got to be able to hold all the air inside? Well, uh, first you're going to put the balloons that you want to stuff inside your balloon. Um, can you put multiples inside? Yes. Um, if you're going to do this, you need to have all the balloons that you're going to stuff inside it hanging out so that you can get a hold of them for when you're ready to use those balloons. Um, as for will the balloon blow up on the outside of the balloon versus the inside? Uh, yeah, 90% of the time it tries to, but you just adjust your, your balloon accordingly so that your nozzles are almost equal with the balloon on the inside. So, um, as you can see, I just pulled down on the balloon on the inside and then I grabbed it as soon as it was um, at the top. And then you would just rotate the other one on the side, bring it down, and, and you want to keep your nozzles about the same. Okay, so we're going to get started blowing this up. This is a uh, uh, Lincoln Loon Diamond Clear. Um, so we're just going to stick this in here. And we're just going to blow up our outside balloon. You have to blow up your outside balloon about halfway in order for your balloon to become round on the inside. So just enough so that the the balloons have somewhere to go once you start inflating them okay now you'll have to rotate it around in order to get the nozzle that you want first and the 160 uh, pump is really good for this because you just stick the nozzle bit all the way in as far as you possibly can into the balloon you're trying to blow up that way it will fill up inside it and as you can see we're we're almost getting to our full circle. Okay, as you can see, we made a full circle on that one. Um, if you believe that you overshot your uh, balloon, you can uh, um, adjust it accordingly and let some out. Um, I usually don't, because um, what will happen is, see how it how it's got that little extra on there? What's going to happen is when I blow up the balloon, that little bit of extra is going to actually expand out. Um, the next object is to try and grab the balloon that you have already inflated. You okay, Bubble? You're falling. Okay. As you want to grab them, as long as you got your uh, 160 blown up, it should cover the hole. Then you're just going to pull down until both of them are even. Yep, I'm trying to get it to tie a knot here, but it doesn't want to agree. I keep getting my other balloon wrapped in there. Okay. That said, get that one. Okay, now I've tied a knot in there, so my balloon inside is going to be round, or that is the design of it, because I've tied it off already. Okay, now, as you can see, I'm letting out the air. It should stay basically in that shape. I said basically. But see, this is what he was talking about. Ah, this blue one all like catty wampus. Um, that's because, like I said, the air inside the balloon. Um, but if if done while it was blown up, it should go back to the way it was once I get it back open. Okay. As you can see, my balloon is now back in its round shape okay now we're gonna inflate the second one but in order to inflate my second round one 
or my second 160, I have to try and get it out from under the other one. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I have another 160 in there, and it's not inflated yet. But you don't want to have them where they're crossed over each other either, because when you're trying to blow it up, you just cause problems. Um, and then again, you're going to want to stick your, your needle of your 160 pump as far in your balloon as possible. Because what you're going to do is you're going to grab hold of the needle of the balloon to hold the air inside the other balloon. Okay? And then you just start pumping it up. Oh, something gone wacky here. There we go. And if you want, you can make it go crazy nuts or whatever. That's up to you. Okay, now that I got my two sets of balloons in here, they're holding pretty strong. 160 would hold its shape better um, inside if you were to let all the air out. Um, but our next object that we're going to do is you want to cut as much of the external balloon off as possible. So you have your nozzle in and it. I have... Um, there you can buy these these are window breaking tools but as you can see there is a razor blade right there and it, it's nice for just doing a quick hook cut you just hook it on there and then whip it in boom really good for uh, um, cutting real close to where you want to be Just cut off the balloon. If for some reason your balloon ends up inside the other balloon, um, don't worry about trying to fetch it out. You 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 come up with more problems than trying to get it back out. Uh, so just cut what you can. Um, if you blow it up and you can actually get that nozzle to come back, then do it. Uh, but don't worry about it. Um, again, now our our balloons are in there. We're gonna. You got to be gentle when you deflated the balloons inside because sometimes they hang on the sides of the balloon. So now we're going to just blow this back up. And they should become round again. round balloons in there and they're just floating free and, and you want to like give them some kind of uh, direction to go or whatever you will actually have to physically set and push on the balloon 
in order to get the balloons to go wherever you want them. Once you get them close to where you want them, you just deflate the balloon to where the sides can grab hold of your balloons. And if they're not quite as round as you want them to be, you would just squish them in the direction that you believe would make them round. Okay, so as you can see, we now have double stripes. And again, we would just let a little more out just to make sure that they stay where they're supposed to be. If they're too close to one another, yeah. you, again, just put your hands in there and, and push them in whatever direction you need them to go. As you can see, I'm grabbing it on the bottom with one hand and, and on top with the other and, and just trying to position them. So now we have a semi-spiral and one just keeps wanting to move. Okay. But that's the object of how I got it round. Um, and again, 160s definitely work better than the two, the 260s work better than the 160s for keeping a rounder and you could actually deflate it and have it round. Uh, we're going to try, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and deflate it as a tambourine. Nope. Eh. It, it's gonna just do a heart. Anybody want a heart? Um, again, um, it really, like I said, however you want to get that in there, that's up to you. But to get them round, like I said, you have to have the balloon blown up first in order to get it to do it. Because when you're pumping it up, if you've uh, already inflated the balloon and it's got bins in it, then it's not going to be round like you want it to be. So, if, it, if they were already round to begin with, they usually go back to round when you're finished. Okay? If not, just push on them. It's like a, um, like almost like pinch twisting the balloon once it's inside there. You just basically pinch it in certain areas to get it to go in the direction you want, okay? So those are in there. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. That was a little bit more detail on how I did it. Um, now um, I'm actually going to do a, a, a 260 inside one and show you the difference. Yeah, really? Okay, as I said the other day, these are uh, really old balloons. Um, that's why I'm using them in these videos. Uh, so if one pops, I'm not worried about it. It's not like it's a major loss for me. Because um, I already lost the money on them anyhow. Um, it was for a project that I was doing, and I ended up with extras um, that I didn't need. You know how that is. Any balloon person has more balloons than they really ever need. Okay, we got our uh, our uh, 260 in our balloon. We have to still, even with the 260, we have to blow up the balloon first. So you're going to have to blow it up quite a bit. Okay, we're about... Uh, um, about six, seven inches into it or so. Like I said, you almost want it uh, uh, semi fully blown up. What you're going to do, you're going to take your 260 and you, like again, uh, you want to try and get as much nozzle in there as possible or, or, or the pump nozzle in there as much as possible because you got to get past your fingers without letting all the air out. Okay, so once you get that, as you can see, it's I'm, since I'm holding on to this other piece, it, it's curling over. So if you didn't want it to curl over, you wanted it just to go straight, that would be uh, um, a different thing you'd have to do. And if if you get to a point where the balloon starts touching the wall, you have to blow out the, up the outer uh, balloon some more in order to continue on. So what you would do is you would just blow it up, give it more room to expand. 
Okay, you see I give it more room. Now we gotta put my pink one back on there. A lot of what I'm telling you is just basic stuff, so if you're saying you don't like my video because I'm giving basic information, um, understand there's a lot of other people who don't know this information and would want it. That's why I do these videos. Okay, uh, now that our balloon is in there, we need to pull out all the extra bit. Okay, we got a hold of our nozzles. Oops. And then you just tie your knot. Okay. Then you, before you let go of your nozzles and, and call your design done or whatever, cut off the extra. Okay, and oh, I cut too close. That was fun. <laughs> Even professionals have problems. That 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 that's funny. I cut the knot off. That's too funny. Sure did too. Oh yeah, that's, there it goes. At least it blew it right out. Let's try it again. I got, I got, I got more balloons. Try again? Yeah, try again. Okay, I'm gonna put another 260 in here. Uh, this time I'm gonna blow this one up a little, a little bigger um, from the start. Since, since I know where my balloon is gonna have to twist at or whatever or approximately at. So we're gonna go about mm, say nine, ten inches, almost fully inflated. Okay, that looks good. Nice about the size of my head type design. Um Okay, again, shove your nozzle as far onto your balloon pump as possible. Uh, can I blow it up with my mouth? Yes, I could. Um, is it a lot more exercise? Oh, yeah. It, it'll definitely give you headaches trying to blow it up inside another balloon because the air pressure of the other balloon is helping to push on that balloon, too. Uh, so, if you've ever tried to blow up a 160 by mouth, that's about what it feels like. Okay, so here we go. A yellow one. Hey, yellow one went up really nice. The first time too. Okay. So let's try not to cut off the knots this time. Okay. Also, make sure not to cut your round balloon when doing this. I've done that. And I've cut the nozzle on my round balloon before. Okay, as you can see, it is nice and round. But, again, when, when you let all the air out, again, when, when you let the air out, it does not become round. So, the object is you want to make sure it's round before you let the air out. It does, however, um, if, if you're doing like designs and stuff, make for great ears and stuff. Um, but you would use one that you can't see through in order to get that to look like whatever you want it to look like. Um, using it as feet and whatever, but you don't want to be able to see through it because then people know how you did it. Okay? Let's blow this back up. And by blowing it back up, it should go back to round. Should. Never a guarantee on that. Okay. 
Okay, I blew the balloon up just enough so that the, the one on the inside is floating freely. In order for me to get it to the side. Okay, now I'm going to let off some of the air in order to close the balloon down around it. And also so that I can try and pull that bin back out of it. Uh, basically, I did like a pinch twist where I grab hold of the balloon and, and I bend it in certain areas. Uh, it may not look like I was doing it, but I did. Um, so now you have a round balloon. And again, you can put multiples in there. I showed you how to do multiples, uh, whether it's a 260 or 160. You can put two in there, three in there. You, hell, you can put five in there if you really wanted to. Um, but that's really your choice. But again, it makes for a nice little great toy for kids. Um, whether you put other little balloons inside it and you make it bounce side to side, that's up to you too. Uh, makes it like a little hoop to hoop game where you, you try and shake it back and forth or a kid rattle type thing. Okay. But as you can see, I deflated the balloon just touching. Just touching. Because I can actually physically keep rotating the balloon over. I don't want it to be uh, expanded all the way to the sides so that. Um, the balloon actually gets stuck on the sides and then can cause it to pop. I want it to be able to roam freely in there to a point. But enough that it will stay where I want it to be until I'm done with whatever I was doing with it. Because um, uh, sometimes where these pieces are, if you rub it enough, it will stick to that section of the balloon um, by heating up the latex or whatever. And you really don't want to do that. And sometimes when you let the air out, it does the same thing. It'll grab the balloon in areas, and that makes it harder for you not to um, pop the balloon. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is how I did it. Um, this had to do with the uh, balloon stuffing for the uh, balloon fish. Uh, we were just showing off how they were done, or the finished products. Now this is how I did it, okay? So you guys have a great one. Enjoy. Woo! Nice twisty toy. Okay, enjoy. This is the Balloon Band of Amusement of the Twist. This is in regards to a comment that was posted about how it was done.